So, hi, I'm Khadud from Sustainability to Action. May I ask you some questions? Absolutely. Yeah, so Casper Jorna from uh, Ellen MacArthur Foundation. Uh, what, are, what are the key elements of a, a circular economy? Mm. If we look at a circular economy, some of the key things to take away that it's a systems transition. It's fundamentally rethinking the way we set up our economy. It's moving from a li uh, linear take, make, dispose economy to one which is restorative by design and where essentially we keep all products, components and utility at their highest value at all times. It's, so throughout the research that we've done together with, um, in, in, in our first three reports together with the World Economic Forum and McKinsey, and uh, we've clearly shown that there is a tremendously macroeconomic opportunity for business and, and government and policy to, to jump into. Um, increasingly, businesses are seeing this. Uh, so we work across a series of um, 100 organizations, CE100 as the program, uh, and we see their business actually implementing these things and see it's more profitable as a way of business. Now, when it comes to the challenges, it, it requires a, a fundamental collaborative approach, uh, an approach to, um, to, to essentially uh, move from, from this linear locked-in um, economy where we, over the last 100 years, we've essentially uh, built a system where we're very accustomed to pushing through products, and we've become very efficient in doing that. So changing something which has been established for 100 years is also culturally ingrained and it requires not just one company, but multi companies. So collaboration is, is key um, and uh, it requires also dedication, but all, there is a price and that's the macro and, and commercial opportunity. The topic of consumer behavior is, uh, is a very interesting and important one, but also a very difficult one to challenge, uh, to change, sorry. Um, so, if you look at the number of years, over 20 years, that there has been um, intentions and, and, and um, advertorials to change consumer behavior around recycling, yet we see, we see very little recycling rates. Yes. And that is essentially because, as we see it, uh, a lot of the, the, the choices that customers make, um, they can be right or wrong, but um, it's very hard to make the right decision if the system around it doesn't work. Yeah. So. Uh, you can have a, an, an, a customer and change their behavior, but if their behavior doesn't lead to a better outcome, although the de decision is better, um, yeah, we're still nowhere. So you need you need the ent entire system. So not just the general public. You need to have policy makers engaged, set the right context. You need to have business engaged, develop those new opportunities, those new models, those new products. Um, but also the next the next generation. So education is is, is also cru crucial in, the, in, the, in this topic. I think that's a very difficult one because there are so many. Yeah. Um, but what I what I truly appreciate about um, circular economy is the, uh, the the power to inspire uh, and then particularly to innovate. So I'll give two examples to that. One is a um, a packaging company that we work with called Ecovative or Ecovative. Um, and what they basically have done is said there is something in packaging which is fundamentally polluting. And, and something very useless after its use, and that's styrofoam. Can we replace styrofoam with something that is cost the same, but has a purpose afterwards? So they replace that with millicium, uh, mycelium roots, which are mushroom roots. So they grow the packaging, and companies like Dell are already using this. Uh, are using this, and so instead of having to dispose of styrofoam at the end of its life and, and throw it away, and then maybe burn it for energy recovery, which is not the ideal thing to do. Rather, this uh, mushroom root, you just throw it in the back garden and then it becomes a fertilizer. Yeah. And so you completely redesign a traditional industry. The other thing when it comes to, so that's with the innovation part, the other thing is, is, is the inspirational part. Um, if we talk to, to students, uh, design students, um, and who have gone through a design study and they're, they're very passionate about designing, let's say tables or even anything basically, they're kind of frustrated because everything has kind of already been designed. We know what a couch looks like. Maybe we change it a little bit, but we know that that's a table and maybe we make some sort of form change, but it's not fundamentally redesigning. And when they hear about a circular economy, all of a sudden you see their lights, uh, their, their eyes light up and everything around them, you can redesign. Yes. You can completely redesign a table. Yes. It might look the same table, but it's fundamentally different.
I can't stay away from closer, I can't stay